natural disasters, thawing polar caps, rising sea levels. Climate change is real. Its effects are becoming increasingly catastrophic. But what if there was a way to stop or at least slow down global warming? The Pleistocene Park and the Andrei Melnichenko Foundation present a model of nature-based solutions that can change this reality. Do you know what our planet looked like 12,000 years ago? The late Pleistocene epoch, also known as the Ice Age, was full of life. Mammoths, woolly rhinos, steppe bison and big-horned reindeer roamed around the fields of northern Eurasia. But then humans came. They greatly reduced the number of species. The vast grasslands became deserts. The idea of the Pleistocene Park is to bring life back to the tundra and restore the Ice Age ecosystem. The basis of this project should be large cloven-hoofed animals, in particular bison. Calculations show that just 2,000 animals will be enough to create an independent system capable of reproducing and expanding. The scientific experiment to create the Pleistocene Park began in the mid-90s. Its authors and leaders are Russian environmental scientists Sergei and Nikita Zimovs. The park is located in the northeast of Yakutia and occupies an area of 200 square kilometers. Here live not only bison, but also Yakut horses, reindeer, moose, sheep, musk oxen, yaks, and even two humped camels. In total, 150 animals of nine species. Why is all this being done? The main purpose of the project is to fight climate change. In the north, temperatures are rising faster than the global average. As a result, the permafrost is thawing. Huge amounts of methane and carbon dioxide, the main culprits of global warming, are released into the atmosphere. The more greenhouse gases, the faster the permafrost thaws. The more it thaws, the more methane and carbon dioxide is released into the atmosphere. If this process is not stopped, the consequences could be devastating. The Pleistocene ecosystem will reduce emissions and increase carbon sequestration in the soil. The second goal of the project is to restore biodiversity. The tundra desert is now poor in vegetation and animals. Herbivores will eventually form a fertile layer of soil. The diversity of plants and animals will return here. The third goal is to create new opportunities for local residents. The north of Yakutia can become a popular tourist destination. The most remote settlements will start to develop infrastructure and new roads will appear. And in the more southerly permafrost areas, it will even be possible to cultivate land. Since 2023, the park has been funded by the Andrei Melnichenko Foundation, which has brought the project to a new level of quality. Over the next 7 to 10 years, the number of animals will grow to the planned 2000. They will gradually spread throughout the entire territory of the park. A new self-sustaining ecosystem will emerge. What is being done now? Bison and musk oxen, which arrived in Yakutia in 2023, are adapting to the new conditions. In 2024, five more expeditions will bring new animals. The fenced area will have to be expanded. The park will have the equipment to monitor greenhouse emissions and absorption in real time. Climate scientists will be able to work with this data. In general, the project should become an open scientific platform for specialists in various fields. What happens next? When the experiment is complete, the park could become a model for nature-based solutions to combat global warming. Similar reserves could be created in other permafrost regions, not only in Eurasia, but also in North America.